Hey guys, I'm T2 and welcome to my stuff. Today we're going to make this dust cyclone separator. Pretty much anyone that owns a shop vac knows that the filter in the shop vac can get clogged up easily and the filter can be very expensive to buy. An alternative method is to build a cyclone separator or buy one. In this case, I'm building my own because buying a decent cyclone separator can also be expensive. I started off by cutting some ply with the squares and take it to the bandsaw to cut to the final circle. And here I'm cutting the outer ring that contains the cyclone wall. I use polycarbonate for the cyclone wall and trim it on the table saw by a little bit each time to get a perfect fit. As you can see, I made the top circle a little bit too small, so I have to later on redo that. Here I'm just fine tuning the second top circle that I made because I messed up the first one as too small. So I have pre-drilled and screwed the polycarbonate to the top plywood piece and then I slide the middle ring down to the bottom and then now I have this gap in the middle so I have to eliminate that by cutting this little piece with a round circle on it and then you can press that into it and then screw it onto that and when you're creating this I used um, this off cuff ring that has the same uh, diameter of this and then I placed it onto this another piece and then I put put it under like this and then I can trace the circle right here and then cut it on the bandsaw and fine tune it on the spindle sander. You can make this support piece on the table saw too, but I don't know how to make that on the table saw, so I decided to use the bandsaw and that's why there's two separate pieces. But you can also do it on the table saw and remain in one piece. Then I use a countersinking bit with a drill bit on it to drill out some holes on the side of the polycarbonate so then I can screw it onto the support piece later on. After taking off the wrapping on the polycarbonate, I bend the polycarbonate back in place in the outer ring and then stretch it into a tight fit until you hear a click. Then I fasten the support piece that I made before to the polycarbonate itself and that actually took a while. I then cut a few pieces of wood that has the same diameter as the hose I'm using and use glue and brat nails to assemble the part. I then transferred the circle mark to the supporting block piece, cut it on the bandsaw and then fine tune it on the spindle sander. I can then transfer the screw hole positions onto the polycarbonate using the supporting block as a alignment. Then I can put the pipe in the supporting block piece as a guide and cut it on the bandsaw. And now I'm just drilling the screw hole positions that I marked before from the outside. I then use a pen to transfer the mark onto the supporting block itself and then pre-drill it out onto the block. And then I just fasten a few screws for temporarily holding and then I can put my pipe into the supporting block and then see where to cut the importing hole. 
After marking the hole with a sharpie, I used my jigsaw to cut out the hole roughly and used a file to fine tune it to the line. I countersink the screw holes on the inside using this 90 degree drill angle thing and then I can screw the I can fasten the screws onto these onto this piece and then I can screw it like this and then put some silicone around it to seal all these up. And here I'm drilling a hole for my jigsaw to cut out a circle with the same diameter of my pipe. I can then make the baffle piece on the bandsaw using the scrap top circle. And then I cut the pipe to the correct length. I then made this little piece that has the same inner diameter of the pipe and then I use this drill bit to glue it onto the baffle and then use some heavy objects to weigh it down and clamp it in place. And here I'm just putting silicone to make the cyclone airtight and I made a mistake wearing gloves because you really should use your finger and soap water to smooth out the silicone and that will give you a smoother result on the outside. I then hot glue the pipe onto a scrap piece of wood and then use my miter gauge to cut out a notch on the table saw and use my fence as a stop. Then I can just use a file and even more smooth out the cuts. And then I just mixed up some 5 minute epoxy and then covered the baffle piece and then attached the pipe onto the baffle piece. And then I added some more epoxy onto the top pipe, the upper pipe, and then I can press that into the cyclone itself and that will elevate the pipe. And then I can cut out the circle onto the Home Depot bucket lid and that will create a hole for the dust to fall in. And then I can just simply pre-drill some holes and fasten the screws to the inner circle with the lid on. So the cyclone is done except I haven't added the silicone to the bucket and cyclone itself but I will do that later and now I'm really really excited to actually suck some dust into the cyclone itself and here I'll show you the inside of my uh, shop back right now and I already emptied it out so it should be empty as you can see and here I will show you the results Alright, the pile of sawdust is sucked into the bucket and let's check how, how much sawdust is in the shop vac itself. And as you can see, there's only these much of fine sawdust that's in the shop vac. And then in the bucket, 99% of the sawdust is in the bucket. Very nice. So this cyclone actually turned out really, really awesome because all these sawdust fell into this bucket and not into the shop vac which means I don't have to buy any filter in the future so I can save some money and build other stuff. 99% of the sawdust falls into this bucket and building this was quite simple except when you're trying to fold the polycarbonate into this cylinder shape. When I bought the polycarbonate it actually feels like it's going to break when I'm trying to bend it but then when you're bending it, then you know that, oh, this is not going to break. So bending polycarbonate is 
really simple, but you just need some strength to do that. This cyclone was designed to fit the standard Home Depot bucket because the outer ring that holds the, the polycarbonate cylinder was actually the same uh, circumference of the inner ring of the Home Depot bucket so you can just screw it from the under and don't have to create a recess or a rabbit to fit onto the bucket. I did not put any glue or adhesive around the polycarbonate to the outer ring of the, the outer plywood ring but I suggest you guys do so to put epoxy or construction adhesive around it but before you do that you have to sand off the polycarbonate surface so it can stick better together so that's the only thing that I didn't do and I wish I can go back and do it I am planning on to create a set of plans for this cyclone but I'm not sure if I want to so please comment down below if you want a set of plans for this or not and then I'll decide whether or not I should make a plan for this. If you enjoy this content, please support me through Patreon or Amazon affiliate links, both down in the description, and supporting me on Patreon is the best way to do so, and you can get some rewards. By doing by going through the Amazon affiliate links I, pro I provide down in the description below, you can, every time you buy the Amazon things, it, it kicks back a little bit of money to me, so please, I encourage you please do that if you enjoy this content. Please also visit my website t2stuff.com. It's down in the description below and you can check out a few, a few plans, free plans, or build articles. Or you can contact me over there. That pretty much wraps up the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like, share this video, and comment down below should I make plans for this or not. And as always, stay fresh and keep making.